Michael first of Regan Paul, how's he looking? Uh, yeah, he's 50-50. He, um, he did a little bit with the medical team yesterday. He's going to try and join in with the players today. Uh, <clears throat> so if he comes through, um, yeah, if he comes through the session today, hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be available. I think that the good thing is, is that if he's not available for tomorrow, um, the way it's sort of progressed over the, the last few days, it looks like he'll be uh, more than likely to be okay, worst case scenario, for next weekend. Is Max Melbourne close? No. No, he's got this persistent car problem that I think has been frustrating the medical staff for the last sort of 10 days or so. I think they expected him to be on the grass at least a week or so ago and it's not quite happened for him yet. Um, the goalkeeper situation, I know you wanted to get something sorted. Is that looking like it's going to be next week now or are you still hopeful before tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll, be, uh, I'll be amazed if anything <coughs> happens today or, or before the game tomorrow. Um, it's getting that balance, Rob, between... Um, having someone who, who can come in and have more experience and be uh, in a position to um, deal with the next nine games better than probably what Jordan would or bringing someone in who's uh, not as good or certainly not as fine in their development as what Jordan is um, and then having to play someone who is not as good as the person you've got on the bench, etc. So it's such a delicate situation for us to be in, and we're aware of it. But ultimately, that's the the hand we've been um, been dealt, and uh, you know we've got to try and manage it as best we possibly can. And how tough is it, especially at this stage of the season? Because I'm sure some clubs won't want to risk losing one of their goalkeepers just in case the same thing happens to them. Absolutely, yeah, very difficult. It's not it's not a great time. It was a lot easier last season when we had. Uh, the player from Bursic come in because obviously most people's season had finished so it was, it was easy for that to happen um, obviously you can't take any players from, from any of the Premier League clubs so you're very restricted on what you can and can't do and um, yeah it's not, it's not been easy you know we've been aware of a list for months and months just in case this scenario happens and then obviously <clears throat> sometimes when it does it becomes a little bit more difficult um, with regards to, to Sunderland, have they changed much under Alex Neil? <clears throat> um, no, no, I wouldn't say sort of massive amounts. What I would say is definitely a there's definitely a resilience there. I think obviously they scored a lot of goals in the latter stages of games, and uh, and then you know beyond the hour mark, getting into that seventy minute mark, if they've been behind or the game's been close and or or, or a stalemate, they, they've gone on to win the game. So. Um, Clearly, um, whether it's a three or a four, they've changed at times for different games. Um, so we're mindful of that and the, the threats that they have got. But what they have got is, obviously, they've got some fantastic players in their forward areas and obviously one who's very, very dangerous in Stuart. Yeah, and Ross Stewart, I know not as physical a presence maybe as Michael Smith the other night, but do your defenders have to deal with him the same way they dealt with Smith in the second half and have that aggression that you asked for? Yeah, I think they do. And, and I think they they did it really well down at their place early on in the season. Um, you know, to score the goals that he scored and obviously a few assists and bringing players into play like he does is a big part of what they do. <clears throat> they do get the ball into him, you know, reasonably early with quality. And, um, you know, like I say, they've got players in around him who, who can really hurt you and damage you. So, yes, we have to be aggressive, but we also have to jump on them second ones and and make sure we nullify the threat of their like wide players and midfield players. A bit like Sheffield Wednesday, in a sense, I guess that if you you know <clears> you get the crowd behind you and, and get them on the front foot, that's going to help. Yeah, I hope so. Obviously, you know, goes without saying. Doesn't matter what level of football that like, scored the first goal um, gives you a brilliant opportunity. And I think being the home team, you know, that can sort of really help and sort of galvanise everyone, including the crowd and. Um, we're looking for the fast start. Obviously, we didn't get up to a fast start. Got up to a really slow start midweek. If we can get to a fast start like we have done in a couple of previous home games, then it's going to give everyone a lift.